right, what's going on guys? Today is the day, it is Sunday. Should be home, but I need to find out what's going on with this mower that I just picked up. Um, for my previous video, all of you that guessed, I asked how, how much you thought I paid for it and how much you thought it was worth. Uh, had a lot of great guesses and um, some of them were spot on, some of them were very close. Uh, some of them not so close. I think there was only one that mentioned uh, any less than I actually paid for it. Um, but I did uh, update in the messages on that video uh, that I paid a thousand dollars plus tax it was through a business. So a thousand dollars for this machine, uh, which is obviously a great deal. Um, you know, just as the parts alone, it's worth you know probably two thousand dollars if you were to pull apart the parts, uh, especially with the new parts. But we're not going to do that. We are going to fix this machine and most likely use it uh, in business this season. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, so this video, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pull it apart. And uh, let's get right down to the head gasket on that front cylinder, hopefully in this video, and uh, get a good visual. And uh, another thing I also noticed <clears throat> upon looking at it, I actually... In my other video, I mentioned that I had these decals left over from my other Walker project. Uh, this one that was missing, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Basically, all those decals uh, I had sitting here left over from my other machine. So I went and put those on. Just stickers, but in my opinion, uh, decals make the difference to make a machine look complete or not. So I like to have the proper decals. You know, maybe not all of them. This is a little bit of overkill all over this deck here, but certainly a uh, a couple of the functional ones like your controls and, you know, the branding and stuff like that. So anyways, <clears throat> back to what I was saying is I noticed while I was putting those decals on, i got to get used to this. You're supposed to put this cup holder up, I guess, when you flip your deck up or the uh, body, that the oil also has water mixed in with it. Anybody that's dealt with a head gasket in a car um, will recognize this. It's a uh, like a white creamy mess. That's what happens when antifreeze or water and oil mixes. Um, so not only is the antifreeze getting into the cylinder because uh, it's burning the antifreeze and uh, if you let it sit long enough, it'll fill the cylinder up where the spark plug hole is. You take the spark plug out and it shoots out all the antifreeze. Um, it's also mixing in with the oil, which even more so uh, reinforces that it's probably the head gasket. Um, I see no external leaks around the head, so um, it appears to me that from what I understood, um, they replaced this head gasket and didn't torque it properly. I, I don't know how long ago that was or what the specifics were on that. Um, my visual just looking it doesn't appear to be any time recently that it was done so I don't know um, maybe he's getting that confused with another machine and this hasn't been done but it seems pretty evident that the uh, head gasket is the issue here so what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna set this camera up and we're gonna do a uh, nice video of step-by-step -step taking this apart and uh, should be fun we should be able to I'm assuming take this muffler right off uh, unbolt the intake and kind of just work right off the head here uh, right in the center of the machine here should be pretty easy to work on and uh, I got plenty of good spots to put the camera for a nice camera angle so we're gonna set you up and, and get started all right step one got to get a nice fire going it's a uh, rainy crappy day out so let's get a little heat in here create a nice environment to work on this machine a happy mechanic is a good mechanic. So I'm gonna start off by, and don't worry, I'm not gonna narrate this whole video and listen to me talk the whole time. I'm gonna start by removing the radiator cap and we're gonna drain the radiator, much like you would do in a car. There's a pet cock. Oh, he said pet cock. Down at the bottom there, if you can see it, right there. Let's go ahead and, uh, See if we can open that up, drain out this fluid. I don't know how much is left in here, but dripping right out there. All 
All right, so while that's draining, let's get going. At the beginning, I mentioned that it didn't look like this had been taken apart recently. I take that back. It does appear to be a newer gasket in here. And somebody put some never sees on this bolt. So uh, it definitely does look like it's been taken apart recently. Like I. all that uh, shielding out of the way basically all we should need to do is unbolt this and depending on how flexible this is I might not even have to disconnect this end just kind of push it out of the way a little bit and unbolt the intake manifold over here I might have to loosen this side up to get a little bit of play on it and then pull these bolts out shouldn't be hard Famous last words. Check this out. You can actually see the antifreeze in the exhaust right there. She's definitely leaking. Let's see if I can set up a better light for this because this would be uh, a lot easier to see with a brighter light. So the intake manifold connects to this head right here and then comes over and across and connects to this head right here. And then this is the uh, throttle body of where the air comes in and feeds them. I should be able to 
I'm gonna leave this loose. I mean, I'm gonna uh, leave this tight for now. At the very worst, I think I might need to loosen it a little bit just to get a little bit of free play. But if I can unbolt this head and it's a straight shot to come right up, um, just that little bit of like a millimeter of distance here by taking those bolts out and not having to loosen that, I should be able to sneak this by. So that's what I'm banking on, but subject to change. We'll see how it goes. Definitely another bolt here. <laughs> Maybe this intake might have a another bolt holding her on. Drum roll, please. Well, that's anticlimactic. It's hoping for an obvious visual break on the uh, gasket, but I don't see one, so let me wipe everything down here. <laughs> All right, this is a multi layer gasket it's actually three separate pieces which is pretty crazy to me in my opinion that's just going to make it harder to seal without leaking but I don't know. For water to get into the cylinder around this edge did not seal with this gasket. or around this edge. Goes like that. I 
interesting. Well, we'll have to see what the new gasket looks like, but I mean, this doesn't look like a new gasket to me. Um, you know, not one that was just, just changed, but you can definitely see can definitely see some scraping on that surface. We're gonna really wanna take our time. I wanna get a straight edge, whatever I have that's a straight edge anyways, and really check for any high spots on this block. But this needs to be cleaned up really, really good without scratching it to be able to seal properly. That as well as the head. But you can definitely see somebody took something to it. You see like scrape marks to sand it. Or to clean it. Kind of a bunch of crap on it right there. So yeah, we're going to, uh, what I like to do is get a piece of glass if I can. It's really straight or sometimes even a really nice like a new level that's got some fairly straight edges on it or a uh, like a speed square it's got the aluminum edge um, it's not near as accurate as it should be for a head but uh, what you can do is you can if you have like a nice flat piece of glass you can put uh, a piece of sandpaper like a fine sandpaper like a 400 and just take the whole head and rub it on the sandpaper and then look for low spots to see if there's any uh, bends or low spots in the head. Can't do that with the engine block. That's going to be hard to do. But uh, we definitely want to uh, clean this up really good. And we'll probably just use a uh, scotch Bright pad or maybe something less aggressive. Um, the other thing I just... These studs appeared to be tight. So it doesn't look like the studs let loose. Uh, when I took the bolts off, they were tight, so I don't think it was improperly torqued. I think that it was just either a bad gasket or improper dressing of the gasket. I mean, of the cylinder head and the uh, block, I'm not sure. But I've got a new one on order, and uh, as you can see, that was pretty simple. Uh, I think within 45 minutes, taking my time, first time ever doing it, I've got the head gasket off, so... Um, if that one was gone or bad, it would be just as easy, if not easier, to remove that head. This almost, man, it's almost like it. they put the old gasket back in. This just doesn't appear to be a fairly new gasket. But who knows how long ago this was done. I don't know the full story, but I'm going to do my job and make sure that uh, it's as flat and clean as I possibly can make it. Both surfaces, and we got a new gasket coming. And we're going to go ahead and t torque it on and... Hope for the best and see uh, see how long it holds. Hopefully this isn't uh, a warped block or some type of stronger issue than that. But but that's it for this one. Uh, I should have the new gasket uh, at the beginning of this week coming up. It's Sunday today, so uh, maybe by Wednesday or so, hopefully we'll have the gasket. And I'll do a follow-up video on uh, putting this puppy back together. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, this is what I do to clean off the surface of this head. Here's the head gasket. I give it a good wipe down. Make sure there's nothing sticking out on it, which there isn't. I've got a granite countertop with a piece of glass and a nice clean fresh piece of 400 grit sandpaper. You just want to kind of let the weight of the head don't really push down too much in one spot and go back and forth a couple of times. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it over. and inspect. So 
So what we're looking for is spots that look different than the others. So far it's kind of hard to tell, so we're going to go ahead and uh, do a little more. pretty good honestly definitely don't think there's any warp spots so we're just going to continue uh, sanding this down until it's all the same color get rid of some of these marks because with this style head gasket it's so thin 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 layers it doesn't take much to be off Looking good, looking good. I'm gonna switch to a fresh sheet just to finish it off. That last one was a 400 grit, this is a 600. done all right that's how I do it Across the line